Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing some affirmations that you can be using in order to manifest faster or you know see some movement in the 3d honestly it depends on what i draw i have this law of assumption deck that i wrote up um it's basically just a deck of cards with affirmations that i talk about on this channel so um let this be a video kind of like a review type of video like you know when you take an exam the professor goes over like the study guide for the final and like they go through a review session so if you've been following me a lot of these affirmations you hear uh, might be affirmations that you've already heard if you don't know what i'm talking about i have a whole law of assumption playlist where i talk about affirmations that i have personally used that have helped me manifest abundance of love um a lot of movement in general like job abundance promotions you know all that just a lot of good things in my life okay so yeah check out the law of assumption playlist that is on my channel um okay without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started with picking the cards to see what you can be affirming right now okay um i have like two decks that i'm gonna pick from so yeah um okay the first card that we have here is oh my gosh okay some of these are really dramatic okay they may or may not be affirmations that um you've heard but yeah i'm just gonna go over them anyways i am love and abundance okay um actually when i was manifesting one of my sps i would say things like i radiate love and the universe reflects love back to me it was literally a tiktok affirmation that i saw and i end up ended up manifesting like one of the best relationships of my life that really served as a foundation for um manifesting better or even better relationships i'm sorry if that sentence made no sense but my point is like i manifested this guy into my life by using this exact affirmation i am love and abundance and also i radiate love and the universe reflects love back to me and i met a guy who helped me raise my standards when it comes to dating and ever since then i have only dated people that have met my standards and i've noticed so much abundance in my love life also you know this says abundance um i've noticed a lot of abundance in my career life as well i got like two raises and two promotions last year i got awards at work i got a shout out from my like skip level skip levels manager i i manifested a lot of really good things this year and 2021 and i've been saying this for like the last two years I've, i also manifested this um, luxury studio in new york city literally just by saying i am abundance i am always abundant okay this was one of the first affirmations that i came across um yeah like when i first started my manifestation journey my conscious manifestation journey like a couple of years ago in 2020 um i don't even remember where i saw it but th there was someone that was talking about you know saying like okay you can say i'm abundant but also just say i'm abundance you can say that i'm loved but also just say i'm love and this just ended up like working for me really well okay um so i highly recommend that um there's a reason why I wrote it on the card. Some of these may be a little bit more like woo-woo or a little bit more like spiritual, okay? Some of these are definitely a little bit more like logical or like not really logical, but like, yeah, I mean, for lack of a better word, like the other one that I wanted to talk about is my dominant thoughts are in alignment with my manifestations. Like you, you see how like these are a little bit different. I am love and abundance. My dominant thoughts are in alignment with my manifestations. I would say like this is a quote unquote like more logical affirmation in the sense like you're quite literally telling your thoughts what to do. Whereas I am love and abundance is a little bit more like just general and i don't know why but it just works for me it's definitely like helped me see a lot of movement in my life honestly like the words do matter i was gonna say words don't matter but they do matter but it's more like the intention behind them like when i would say things like i am love and abundance i was telling myself like i want love and i want abundance and that's exactly what i got at the end of the at the end of the day, um, your subconscious mind knows what you want. So don't worry too much about, you know, getting every single affirmation, like, you know, completely right on the dot. I don't know what I'm saying here, but like some of you get really, really, really meticulous with your affirmations. I'm that way too, okay? Sometimes I get really, really specific, but then I remind myself like, okay, instead of having this like really long-winded affirmation, I can just keep it short and simple because my subconscious mind knows what I want. Your subconscious mind knows what you want. Um, affirm in the language that feels the most natural to you, okay? 
Yeah. But anyway, let's talk about this affirmation. My dominant thoughts are in alignment with my manifestations. I really like this, okay? If you're someone that gets triggered because of the 3D or if you're someone that's been feeling really like low or unmotivated or you're having a hard time just like quote unquote controlling your thoughts, you're kind of letting your thoughts control you, um, then say, yeah, say this affirmation. My dominant thoughts are always in alignment with my manifestations or my thoughts are mostly positive. I only think positive thoughts. I mostly think positive thoughts. If you are feeling triggered right now because you haven't manifested what you want, you are giving too much credence too much value to the 3D. And what you have to understand is that 3D is literally just a reflection of your past thoughts. You are literally looking into the past as you are living out your current 3D, okay? So um, you have to stay loyal to your manifestations, stay faithful to your manifestations by continuing to affirm from it, okay? From the end, live from the end. Say things like, oh, I already have my SP. I already have that job. I already have that perfect love life, okay? Um, yeah, and this is just a tool to kind of reduce anxiety as well. I know some of you could have a lot of anxiety for whatever reason, okay? So you can say things like, my dominant thoughts are in alignment with my manifestations. And I know for a lot of you, you just want to live a happy, peaceful life. You can say things like, um, I always have like happy thoughts. My thoughts are always very positive or... Um, you know, a mental health affirmation that I remember giving a couple of my clients are, my mind is a very safe place to be. My mind is a safe place. I feel very, um, you know, comfortable in my mind or being by myself. I know some of you, some people have like trouble even like being alone or like, you know, you constantly need to be stimulated. Just say things like my mind is a safe place to be, okay? And Trust me, like I feel like that would work just as well as meditation. If you've tried meditation, um, but you just couldn't focus or concentrate, even just telling yourself, look, it's easy for me to focus. It's easy for me to concentrate. Um, it's easy for me to be at peace. It's easy for me to always, you know, have peace of mind. Like any of these affirmations will work perfectly, okay? So yeah, do you need to do this in order to manifest? Not necessarily, but a lot of you do tend to go through, you know, periods of spiraling and the reason you're spiraling is because your thoughts aren't exactly where they need to be yet there's a there, there's a vehicle i'm just gonna wait for it to pass new york city things okay um oh my gosh it's still going on you can like see the traffic in the and in, on the screen okay um anyways yeah back to what i was saying um the best way to like thinking positive thoughts is by just programming your mind to do so, okay? Work smart, not necessarily hard. Just tell yourself it's always been easy for me to manifest. Um, I always get what I want instantly. Like I will, yeah, I will see one affirmation and then I'll think of like 10 affirmations um, similar to it, okay? Or just, I just say whatever comes to my mind, honestly. But yeah, this is definitely something you need to be telling yourself. Like if you, if you are someone that is letting the, you know, one, letting the 3D get to them. Two, you've been spiraling, you've been having doubts, you've been feeling like taking action in the 3D when you really shouldn't. Okay, L let things happen for you. You're already doing the work by manifesting, by affirming, okay? I feel like this is just a great affirmation to get you in the mindset of manifestation, get you in the mindset of affirming, okay? Um, I talked about this in another one of my videos, but you can, like this This is an example of priming your manifestation. So if there's very, there's something very specific that you're trying to manifest, even saying things like, yeah, first of all, let me get my thoughts in check or let me declare that I'm the opera and power of my reality. Let me declare my manifestation abilities. Once you do that, like everything will fall into place, I promise you, okay? We also got, I am always loved, valued, cherished, and admired, okay? I'm always loved, valued, cherished, and admired. You don't have to say all of these. You can just say I'm always loved and valued. I'm always respected and loved, respected and valued. But for a lot of you, if you're trying to manifest a healthy relationship, but maybe that hasn't been the case in the past, you can say things like, yeah, I, I've always been loved. I've always been valued. I've always had good relationships, okay? I've always been shown up. I've always been adored. I've always been praised. There's another siren. Oh my gosh. Let's hope that whoever they're going to help is okay. Every time I see like an emergency truck, I just want to manifest 
emergency truck, fire truck. Oh my gosh, I'm so sleep deprived. But every time I hear like sirens, I always just wish that whoever they're going to help or save is okay. So yeah, spread positive energy, okay. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm always loved, valued, cherished, and admired or you know, any one of these. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, but um, something I do wanna point out is saying I am always helps a lot, okay. Saying things like I am always or I have always experienced is like tremendously helpful when it comes to manifesting or revising something that didn't serve you okay yeah revision is a very very powerful way to also get what you want so let's say you haven't really been in a committed relationship you've had trouble manifesting commitment you cannot say i've always been in a committed relationship same with like a job if you've had trouble manifesting a job you can say things like job offers have always come easily to me i've always um, attracted the best opportunities for me I've always had a high paying salary. I've always had my ideal job. I've always had my dream job. I've always had my dream partner. I've only ever had happy, healthy relationships. I've only ever had positive experiences. You can even keep a general. Um, ooh, I really like this one. Anyone would be lucky to be with me. I love this one, okay? Anyone would be lucky to be with you. Any job would be lucky to have with you. Your specific person um, is like right now, they're thinking of like, you know, ways to contact you because they know it's a privilege and an honor to talk to you, to be around you, to soak up your energy, to talk to you. Okay, I already said that, but yeah, anyone would be lucky to be with me. This is definitely a great self-concept affirmation, great self-love affirmation that really reminds you of your worth, okay? This is about, you know, yeah, realizing your self-worth. This is about a journey back to yourself, your SP, that specific thing that you're manifesting. Like, it's it's going to come, no matter what, it's going to come. Um, but that's just a cherry on top. The, the real prize here is you just um, realizing that you've always been in control, that you've always been a master manifester, that you've always been the prize, that, you know, you d do deserve the world and so much more, okay? Yeah. We also got, I am happy, healthy, abundant, prosperous, and at peace. Wow. I'm happy, healthy, abundant, prosperous, and at peace. You can use, you know, any combination of these words. But yeah, just I'm happy and healthy. I'm always abundant. I'm always prosperous. Every aspect of my life is thriving. I love this whole thing with like, you know, I'm always at peace. I always have peaceful relationships. I have nothing to worry about. My life is stress-free. My life has always been stress-free. Relationships have always been so easy for me manifestation has always been so easy for me attracting prosperity abundance good things has always been so easy for me i've only ever attracted good things into my life i've only ever attracted positive things into my life okay um yeah i'm also going to go ahead and pick from my other deck which yeah just has more of um the similar type of affirmation so yeah let's see what pick here um i have always gotten my desires instantly okay if you have been struggling with manifesting on a time crunch um or just like time in general when it comes to manifestation first of all stop putting time on a pedestal you know when you say things like oh i didn't get this on time i didn't get my sp by the holidays i didn't get my you know whatever by my birthday or whatever it may be first of all like just think of all the birthdays you'll have with this person in the future. Think of all the holidays you'll be spending with this person in the future. Don't get so caught up in what isn't happening now. It will happen for you, okay? But stop putting other people, stop putting time on a pedestal. Like, you are putting that other person on the pedestal by saying, like, oh, shoot, they didn't wish me happy birthday. Like, it's your birthday. Enjoy your birthday. Like, the prize here is that, the prize here is you. The best part about this is that you were born enjoy the holidays a lot of you you know have some time off you have some time to yourself okay you're getting presents maybe around family whatever the case may be um enjoy that okay your sp will be there that they will come okay you will manifest them i promise you that i've seen too many success stories i have experienced too many success stories in my life to tell you otherwise okay like this stuff works if you don't believe me check out the other videos in my law of assumption playlist where i talk about um you know like law of assumption manifestation stories okay and like 
I've, you know, I'm around people that have been manifesting really great partners, um, really great jobs, really great salaries. Like, I feel like, you know, I'm officially in that abundance mindset and it feels so good. And that's one of the reasons why I make these videos because I want you to be in that mindset as well, okay? I know for a lot of us, maybe we didn't always grow up with that because people projected their limiting beliefs onto us or we internalized certain negative things, but that does not have to be the future, okay? Don't worry too much about that and just focus on the present focus on the future, focus on creating this new mindset, okay? But yeah, saying things like I have always gotten my desires instantly will really help with that time aspect, okay? You can say things like it's natural for me to manifest fast. It's always been easy for me to manifest fast. Um, the only thing you need to do is like spend some time creating the belief that you manifest instantly. You can even say things like I'm so powerful. I'm a master manifester. I'm always so good at manifesting exactly what I want when I want it. Okay. Um, I know I give you a bunch of affirmations. Choose your favorite one. But maybe before you begin affirming or scripting or whatever it is that you do, maybe say one of these affirmations. Like I've always been good at manifesting or I always manifest instantly. Manifestation has always come so easy for me. Okay. Yeah. Um, ooh, wow. This next affirmation is it has always been easy for me to manifest. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, honestly, this is pretty self-explanatory. I already explained that. Yeah. Um, this is, a, this is an affirmation that I saw on TikTok where this girl was talking about like, um, how she would say, show me how good it gets. And she would manifest like so many great things into her life. And I started doing that. I started manifesting a lot of great things, a lot of abundance into my life. Okay. Um, I even saw this thing about like, lucky girl syndrome or lucky person syndrome just assume that you're the luckiest person ever that you always get what you want that you have always gotten what you you know wanted um you're always so lucky like only good things are happening to you i know i reference tiktok a lot but honestly if it wasn't for tiktok i actually would not have come across law of whatever you know law of assumption law of attraction manifestation um so props to that I, I just wanted to point that out because like if you've been following me, you know I reference like TikTok and social media, but honestly, like props to, props to those platforms because I think they did a really great job in spreading word about manifestation and um, just a random like thought that I had. If you get triggered by things you see on social media, you can literally manipulate the algorithm by just thinking that you only see positive things. You only see things that are, um, you know, what you want to see. You only see things that are non-triggering. I mean, for a lot of us, like TikTok can literally read our minds. If you have like Instagram, TikTok, you know that their algorithm is like crazy accurate. It's just getting better. Sometimes they literally read your mind. Um, I don't I don't exactly know how it works. I work in tech, but you have to think like I work in tech and I still don't know how it works. But I, something I do know, something that I can like wholeheartedly tell you is that life is like a TikTok algorithm. Life is like a social media algorithm. Whatever you think about the most is what you're going to manifest. Wherever your dominant thoughts lie, wherever your dominant assumptions lie, like that's exactly what you're going to manifest and see in your 3D reality. Like for example, like on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, the things that you react the most, the things that you like reshare, repost, comment on, whatever, you get more of that, okay? And that's the same with life. The things that you react to the most, that's what you get more of. So try not to react to negative things because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. And it's like if you're constantly reacting to these negative things, like your subconscious mind will be like, oh, well, this person has a reaction to that. Maybe I should bring more of that into their life. I mean, unless you like reprogram your subconscious mind to not think that way. Let me give you an example. Like if you see a happy couple and you're single and you're not really where you want to be in your love life and you express disgust, like oh, that happy couple, it's like upsetting me. Like why do they always have to show off? Like you're quite literally telling your subconscious mind you don't want that. Okay, so instead just be happy for them. Just be like, oh, well, that's cute. Hopefully I have that in my life. And that's exactly what you're going to end up manifesting. Okay, same with if like, you know, someone is like showing off their car or job or apartment or whatever. You should use that as a sign that you're next. You should use that as motivation. Don't be jealous. Don't be disgusted. Don't be angry. Don't express anything negative. Just be like, oh, if they have that, I can have that too. Great. 
Okay, and that's that's given that's something you want. If you don't want like a nice car, you have a negative reaction, great. Like, you know, that, that that's fine too. But my point is like your subconscious mind is picking up on these things. And, you know, you should be pretty careful like how you react to certain things. Because like I said, life is an algorithm. It's going to give you more of what you react to and how you react to it as well. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, you know, when you dislike something on social media, you will get less of that. However, when you comment on something, even if it is a negative comment, you're still going to get more of that. That's kind of how our subconscious mind works. You have to keep telling it like, okay, we want this. We don't want this. We like this. We don't like this. Okay. Yeah. Um, but anyways, wow, I, I digress so much. Like, Show me how good it gets. That totally reminded me of TikTok. But, you know, that is something I wanted to tell you. Like, you should not be jealous of anyone else because, you know, in fact, like, if you see something good happening for someone else and that's something that you want take that as a sign that it's happening to you like it's in your sphere it's in your vicinity like you should use that as like like i said motivation inspiration you have to start thinking in your favor if you want the universe your subconscious mind whatever to work in your favor you do have to do a little bit of work to um you know tell yourself that everything is always working in your favor like okay even if you experience something negative oh sp said something triggering i know that this is somehow working in my favor because i know that it's going to make sp come back be more sympathetic be more you know empathetic apologize and it's just going to bring us closer okay i know that sounds a little bit delusional but it works okay delusional manifesting definitely does work even if someone said to you like i don't want to see you again i don't care about you i don't love you i was never into you just flip the script and be like nope they didn't say that they only said that or okay, you can do one of two things they they never said that they actually just told me how much they love me how much they cared about me and still care about me or you can say like oh they were just saying that because their feelings for me are too intense they didn't text you they ghosted you yeah because they were like intimidated by you they were intimidated by their feelings for you but you know now um add to the story further by saying okay well they were intimidated but now they are being more open when it comes to love now they are being more vulnerable now they are more receptive to my love now they want to give me love okay um now they want to you know commit to me like yeah that was in the past but um yeah create this new story create that new assumption i know it sounds so weird and delusional whatever you want to call it but even the biggest lie when persisted in will become the truth okay like i have myself experienced that i've literally had an ex that said all those triggering things that i talked about just for him to come back a month later asking to be in my life and like practically begging me he would like double triple quadruple text me okay so i can like wholeheartedly confirm this stuff works okay yeah um okay the next affirmation we have here is only my positive thoughts manifest I love this only my positive thoughts manifest okay so you know if you do want to control the 3d if you are tired of seeing negative things in your 3d just say the 3d is always showing me what i want i always see you know i always experience what i want in the 3d everyone's always telling me what i want to hear i'm sure when we were younger people would say things like you can't always um you know have your cake and eat it too i talked about this in one of my other videos but like now I think like, why not? Why can't I have my cake and eat it too? Why does the cake exist if it's not meant to be eaten? That makes no sense, right? Some of these like sayings actually made like zero sense the more I thought about them. And I realized like they were huge limiting beliefs. And I even had someone tell me like, oh, I'm not always gonna tell you what you wanna hear. This was like a long time ago. And like now I'm just like, um, yeah, you are. Like people are always gonna tell me what I wanna hear. I only hear what I wanna hear. I only experience what I wanna experience. Just tell yourself that and it will happen, okay? Um, because you deserve that. It's your life. You're the main character in your own life. Don't let these side characters, like, you know, dictate how you feel or you know, don't put anyone else on the pedestal because you are the director of your life. You are the director of the movie that is your life. You get to assign these people roles if you don't like, um, you know certain characters certain roles that people are playing cut them off or rewrite them okay um yeah only you have free will in your reality no one else has free will in your reality and 
like it, it, there's no reason why you should be getting upset in your own life right like if you're the movie if you're the director like why would you care what other people have to say what other directors have to say right um yeah it, this reminds me of like <laughs> another post that i saw that said like you're not about to upset me on my phone and like that's so true it's like heck no like you're not gonna upset me on my phone like I, i'm not gonna look at my phone and accept this bs from other people same with my life like why should i accept that like i'm the you know main character of my life i'm the one that's creating my reality even if you do hear see experience something that's upsetting know that you can change that know that you can revise that okay and saying things like my only my positive thoughts manifest is a surefire way of experiencing only what you want to experience if only your positive thoughts are manifesting i guarantee you you're never going to be triggered anymore you're never going to have to like keep revising everything. I feel like it gets exhausting to keep doing that. Like how much are we going to revise? How much are we going to flip the script? What if we just tell ourselves, no, only my positive thoughts manifest. No, my life is only peaceful from here on out. You don't have to go through trauma. You don't have to go through any more trauma for character development or whatever it may be. Honestly, if you're watching this video, if you've come across manifestation, you probably already have gone through that. You probably are working on healing, okay? So like, just tell yourself like everything is peaceful. Like you don't have any more challenges in your life. Like, because why? Like, why should we go through so many challenges? I even feel like that's another ideal that like, you know, society has internalized or projected onto us. Like, oh, let's give them a little bit trauma for character development. Like, no, like you don't have to. You can still be evolved. You can still have character development um, while, you know, living a peaceful life. And like, why, who cares about character development? Like, I mean, wh why do we even want that? But anyways, I'm digressing, okay? But um, something that I do want to point out is if you just say blanket affirmations, like my life is perfect, every aspect of my life is thriving, like you will notice so much abundance in your life. You will naturally feel really calm, at peace, at ease. Like you'll feel like motivated and happy when it comes to manifestation. You're not going to feel anxious, okay? Saying my life is perfect has literally changed my life. I started affirming my life is perfect, my life is perfect on the counter app, which is completely free on the app store, by the way. And I think I reached like 10,200 affirmations and like literally everything in my life has been falling into place. Like I was recently traveling and there's a lot that could have gone wrong. There's a lot that almost went wrong actually because i was coming back from india like right before the holidays and like literally like the day i came back was like the last day before flights started getting canceled before like a uh, storm started happening i'm in new york and there was a storm that was happening and like i got so lucky and you know even being in india and stuff i was uh so safe i always felt so safe and taken care of and i experienced so much love and happiness and abundance and literally just saying like my life is perfect like made my stay perfect, made my vacation perfect, made like flight travels perfect. I had like, I honestly thought I was going to miss the flight because the layover was literally only an hour long. I was like, how am I going to get to my gate? But I did because like I found the right people that led me towards the gate. I almost, I would have missed that honestly, like me being like, you know, that's, I guess like clumsy or whatever I used to be acting, I'm not even going to say that, I'm not even going to affirm negative things, but my point is there's a lot that could have gone wrong that didn't, that's all because I started to think more positively, started to think, you know, that, like, I am someone who is living a perfect life, I am someone who, um, you know, always attracts the right resources at the right time, I always attract the best opportunities, people are always looking out for me, people always have my best interests at heart, I'm always respected, loved, valued, taken care of, spoiled, prioritized okay yeah so that is all i'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right here if you have any questions regarding manifestation let me know in the comments below i also offer in-depth tarot readings as well as one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching i also custom make subliminals that help you manifest and i have a guide out on my etsy that you can use to manifest love with a specific person you love or soulmate love do check that out all of that will be on my website which will be in the description box below and yeah i will end the reading right here or not reading i will end the video right here for real thank you so much i will see you next time